I'm not even going to lie. I really, really, really thought I was going to hate this film. But you know what? I enjoyed it beyond belief. But we'll get into that review right now. And welcome back to the channel, folks, today for another movie review. So today we're reviewing the film Slack with two X's, not three, as it was originally titled with three X's. But nonetheless, I mean, either way, you'll find it, uh, which is premiering March 18th as a Shutter original, which means it's going to be exclusive on the Shutter app. Now, I did premiere back in 2020 at uh, a few film festivals. So, yes, there's reviews out and yes, people have seen it already. But now that. Shutter has the distribution rights of it. That's the only place you can find it, just in case people have no clue what exclusive or original mean. Nonetheless, Slack is an absolutely bizarre film, and the premise of this is so laughable that you're probably going to initially feel how I feel, too. Like, there's no way you're checking it out. Like, I'm, I'm going to read what the synopsis strictly is, just so you can just know exactly what I read. And I was like, what? <laughs> but when a possessed pair of jeans begin to kill the staff of a trendy clothing company, it is up to Libby, an idealistic young sales clerk, to stop the bloody rampage. So yes, nonetheless, you have a possessed pair of jeans brought to life to punish the ethical practices of a trending clothing company. Yes, that you heard me right. And like, while the premise is crazy and while this is beyond silly, it was entertaining. It was absolutely entertaining. And I really thought I was going to hate this, but like, and, and and actually I thought I was going to hate it because it was, gonna, it was just going to be so overly comical that I was just going to just be lost in it. But I will say for the humor involved with it, I thought it was a good balance between the humor and the horror because I thought the gore was actually pretty good. The blood splatter and everything, I thought it was pretty good. Um, but the jokes and um, and everything really driven by these super flamboyant characters and really a lot of charisma coming from them from even people with the most minimalist role were able to really shine. So, like, I think that was part of the, the, the draw into the stories that you looked at these characters. You were just like, what are they going to say next or what are they going to do next? Because essentially, this is twenty one, uh, forever twenty one from hell. Like the workplace culture is absolutely trash in here. Like the store manager is the worst type of store manager ever, and he makes some horrible decisions. And beyond the idea that there's going to be some genes killing people, you would think at some even given point that the staff may rebel against him because that's just how horrible that of a person he is. But um there were some really funny parts in this film like i gotta be on just one part which i won't spoil but i will say like when the music hit there's something that really happens that's super funny so just remember a scene where some music is being played and some crazy things happen but um i will say too as much as it is comical and stuff there was a little bit of unde undeserving killing i always kind of pay attention to that because like if there is obviously a plot and a premise then things should kind of follow suit and there and there was definitely um some unnecessary blood splattering happening and so you take i mean for real let's just take all of the logic out of it it's still fun and like the gore was still and the blood splatter was done really good and to be quite frank what you're getting yourself into like the cgi was like attack of the killer tomatoes and or sharknado so like yeah, when these jeans start to become animated, it looks so silly that you're going to love it. <laughs> but um, I will say, like, the, the last few moments of this film was, like, a really big cup of, like, damn. Like, I was kind of shocked that they they went with the way they did with the conclusion of this film. So, um, nonetheless, it was a short film. It was fun. Um, it, you know, with a mix of it being silly and comedy horror and, you know, the, the, the jeans essentially being the slasher, um, it all came together pretty good and, you know, it's mindless fun. And so anybody can enjoy it. 
sit back and just, you know, let it do what it does. And I think that's the best way to enjoy this film. But nonetheless, again, this is going to be premiering on Shutter as a Shutter original March 18th. Folks, definitely let me know in the comments what you thought about this film. Look, trust me, I know the trailer is going to look so crazy, but I definitely say check this out. Get a good laugh. Have a good time. It's super short, so you're not really wasting no time of your day in this. And definitely come back in the comments and let me know your thoughts. But until then, folks, I'll see you around for more, 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 and many, many more reviews. Big Bell.